Hi guys and welcome. So this is my first Elden Ring video. I'm excited to bring this to you guys and hopefully it helps you out. So I'll show you a couple different areas, two different areas, technically three ways for rune farming in Elden Ring. And these are working with the 104 update that came a few days ago. So the first one that I've been doing for a while, uh, probably about until a couple weeks ago, or a week ago maybe, is this one. And this is in Kalid. So this is for more of the early stages if you're looking for just building up runes quickly. And runes of course are your points or ways to just build up your level. And just when you get into the harder stages, the mid end game, you're going to want to have just a higher level, higher stats so you can beat these bosses. And the bosses do get tougher and tougher. So I'm only about 30 plus hours into the game, so this is where I started. And I've moved on from this one because I found a new area, but if you are more just starting, all you need to go is go to Kaled here, and you just need Torrent. So I've unlocked a fair bit of the game already, I'm about mid-game. But if you're in the earlier stages, you can unlock Kaled fairly easy and fairly quickly. And then you can go to this place, Tarun Farm, and you can get about 10 to 14,000 per battle. And I'm going to explain that and show you. So let's go back in. So where I am right now is right here, this area, the Impassable Great Bridge. If you go to the right of that, there's some pretty tough guys that I'm now trying to fight, such as the Crucible Knight and another wolf. You fight them at the same time, I forget his name. So this is where you want to go is the Impassable Great Bridge. So let's go into it. So right from your Sight of Grace, you can see there is the castle. You don't want to go there. Let's instead call Torrent and just go straight ahead basically into the battle. And all you have to do is really spectate. And this probably in about 5 to 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes depending how you do it, then you can get about 10 to 15,000 I would say runes and you don't have to do too much. So all I do is here, I just jump up here, you can go wherever you like, but you can see these big dogs, they're going to start fighting with uh, the soldiers. So basically as soon as you get there, there's a few dogs, there's quite a few soldiers, the soldiers generally beat the dogs, it just takes them a little bit of time. So you can definitely just sit there and watch. But what I do is I go collect some more dogs, I collect a bird to go into the battle too, and there's also a knight on a horse. And then I take them all out at the end. So all I do is ride up here, you can do this whatever method you want, but typically I just go through the woods so I can kind of gather them at the same time. There you can see the white wolf, and they'll start chasing you. So I just ride down, I go into the battle again, those wolves are going to start following you. Doesn't really matter again where you go, I'm just going to jump onto the rock here again, just so I can spectate. And there you can see the wolves are already there and you can basically just sit here and watch and it'll just collect runes as either a soldier dies or a large dog dies. And then if I go over here, so again just use torrent and there's a path here where there's a knight. There you can see he's on a horse with a flaming spear. That one you can also bring into the battle if he's not there yet but he'll just go up and down the path but he's in the battle already so that's great. Then there's also a bird up here you can see right there. They're pretty tough to fight but if you bring them into the battle they can fight for you or with you, or against you, whatever, but they can fight the soldiers as well. So I just jump onto the rock, I give him a little slap with my sword just to tick him off, <laughs> then I ride down, he's pretty quick, so he might attack you at least once going down there, but just bring him down, sometimes he doesn't come, he's a little stubborn. If he doesn't come, if he goes like that, he'll kind of slowly back up again, just go a little bit closer, and he'll start chasing you again, and as long as there's a guy somewhat close on that road, he's going to start attacking them, and those are again points that you'll get. So for everyone in this whole area that dies, dog, beast, whatever, person, you'll get the runes for it. So you can see I've collected already just over a thousand, over 1500, and you'll start just collecting them. So there in one shot I also got 10,000. So this is going to be a good battle because it's barely started and I've already got over 10,000 runes. So you can spectate, you can go on different rocks, you can start killing guys if you want right now. But this is a good starting point. I use this for to just rune farm so I can level up. And then you can just rinse and repeat. You can go back to the grace after everyone's gone, everyone's killed. And you can go and do it again. And then if we speed this up, here we'll just start taking out guys. So you just take out everything that you can once the dogs are beaten. Because the guys are a lot easier to beat than the dogs. You can do it however you want. So now I've beaten everything in this area and I've got over 15,000 runes. Basically almost exactly 15,000. So it didn't take a lot of time. But you can just go out and take them out earlier and that's a faster way to do it. Just make sure you collect everything along the way. Then you just go back to the site of grace, so just hop on torrent and just rest. Then you can go right back into the battle and do it again. This way I used a, a fair bit early on just to get runes quicker and then you can level up quite a bit easier. And now the second part I'll show you is for the more mid to more further along the game because you have to unlock a certain area. And this I'll give a link below of the one that I watch, but there's quite a few steps involved to get here. 
but you have to get to this area that I'm going to show you. So you actually have to teleport here, and you're going to start in this area first. So the mausoleum entrance. And this is the way that I first saw where you can rune farm, is to basically go off this mausoleum where you can then call Torrent. You can't call him yet, but you have to wait till you're on the grass. And this is where I first started, where it seemed like there was a glitch where you can rune farm, but this way that I'll show you is basically the same method. There's a branch and a tree, and this is what it showed before, where you could actually jump up on the ledge and do the same thing that I'll show you. This is now a new method, but this way has been patched now with the 104. So you can't seem to get up that ledge. Maybe some of you guys can. I've tried for quite a while. I can't get up there. So instead, you just go down and keep going along the left side of these cliffs. And just keep riding down here. There's definitely some big skeletons that'll take you out really quickly if you go in the center area. And I'll show you here, this is where you're actually going to be above, but this area here where there's a lot of birds, there's a, a red boss, I forget his name, but there's a red mini boss, which is that area there. But I'll show you the top of it where, where we're going to go to. So again, just avoid these guys. There's a lot of them. They're pretty tough too. Now you're going to find another Site of Grace, just past these guys. So you can touch that one. And this is the infamous bird rune farming, which I'll show you there's a better way to do this, but it's in the same area. So now we're up here on the map. So this is still a great area, you can do this first, you can just shoot the bird to give you an extra 14,000 runes, depending if you have the gold scarab talisman. I don't, but if you had that you could get a few more runes out of it. But you can either shoot your arrow here, or crossbow, anything that has long distance. Because I'm an astrologer build, I'm just going to use my rock sling. I'm going to throw some rocks at this bird just to tick him off and he's going to fall off the ledge. I think this ledge is the better one, but sometimes he'll stop or pause and back up again. So I'll just try to tick him off, he'll go off the edge. So sorry, 11,000 runes just like that. You can either just rinse and repeat that, but I'll show you a better way. So if you do that first, you can definitely get those 11,000 runes. And then just behind this, just on the other side of the grace, is this bloody wall. So there was another method just past here to get up, but that's been patched. So I don't know if this one's going to be patched too, but this is where you have to jump up, go on the ledge, and jump off the cliff. And you're going to swing your sword, and you're going to get probably about 120 to 140,000 runes depending again which talisman you have, if you have the pickled foot, etc. So for me, I'm just using my sword. Just make sure you have any weapon that swings and just jump off here. I still haven't perfected this, but once you get on this ledge, just kind of jump almost away with torrent, not towards that cliff because you're just gonna kind of get stuck by the other ledge, just like this. You can't jump up there. So you have to jump a little bit away. This will take some time. You might get frustrated, but just jump away. Sometimes you fall. Once you get up there, you keep jumping. And now we're up here. And it doesn't seem to matter where you jump off, but I just keep going. Right about here, I just jump off. Doesn't really matter if you double jump or single jump, just jump. Right off here somewhere, and just make sure you can swing, so make sure you have your weapon. So once you jump, you're going to fall for quite a while, probably about 45 seconds. And you're going to kind of see uh, yourself turn into almost like a comet with stars. That's where your first rune uh, collection comes in, which is about 120 to 140,000. So just like that, about 120,000 runes. Keep swinging. There'll be another one just shortly after that. And then I'll show you what you do after that. If you die, you can still go back up there and collect your runes. But this is the better method. So you can see you got another over 2,000. Now we go back to that side of grace. So do your quick travel. Do OK. Now you're going to see we still have all those runes. And you can keep doing this. So within an hour, you can have definitely well over a million quite easily. Just the one annoying thing is to get up this cliff. And I actually didn't see anyone else do this on YouTube. I'm sure there is videos, but I saw this two days ago. Uh, just where someone actually just, uh, I'm not sure what you call them, but uh, online spirit, another person. Just where they show a white uh, spirit. Looked like it was jumping up there, so I tried it. And eventually I got up there, and this is how I actually found this. So this is the method I'm currently using. There is also the sleeping dragon method, which I might do a video of too. But this is also another one where you can get, I think, 50,000 runes and some dragon hearts. I'm not sure if these glitches will be patched, but who knows. But as of right now, of the making of this video, these still uh, work, these methods. So throw into the comments if you do have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for my next video. See you next time.